Well, friends, today let's solve critical connections in a network. Actually, this problem is asking us to find the bridges in an undirected graph. So from Wikipedia, a bridge is an edge of graph whose deletion increases its number of connected components. So for this example, at first, uh, we only have one connected component. And if we delete uh, this edge, we will have two connected components. So according to the definition, this edge will be a bridge. So we should uh, return this edge. But uh, if we delete uh, this edge, the rest part is still one connected component. So it is not a bridge. So from the definition, we know the brute force solution will just be we try to delete every edge and we calculate the connected components and we compare this number with the original number. Then we can um, decide whether it is a bridge. But uh, we can solve this problem uh, use using DFS the first search and uh, in big O V plus E time complexity. V is the number of the vertexes and E is the number of the edges. How to solve that? Well, um, I cannot uh, prove the correctness of this algorithm. I can just uh, give you intuitive understanding of this algorithm. And uh, hopefully you could uh, understand Stand this algorithm and uh, write the solution on your own. So in this algorithm, we will use three um, arrays, and one is called uh, discovery time. And that means the first time we visit uh, one node. Uh, actually, it's it's give every node a uh, time. So in this example, if we start from zero, then the time we first meet v to zero will just be zero. And then we do DFS, we go to one. So the time we visited one, the first time we visited one is just be one. And that will be two, and that will be three, so on and so forth. So this is simple. We just uh, maintain a global variable named time, and uh, we assign this va value to the corresponding index. And the second uh, array is called parents. Because in the undirected graph, when we try to generate a tree, a DFS tree, we will each node will have its parent node. So in this case, if we start from zero, and then we go to one, in that case, zero is one's parent. So we should uh, record this value. Okay, this is the second array. The third array is called the lowest vertex in subtree. What does that mean? It can be complicated. So let's see this example. Uh, at first, all the low will equal to the discovery time because every node is part of it's uh, is part of a subtree uh, rooted by itself like uh, one is part of the tree rooted as one mm, is that right so at least uh, the earliest vertex he can find is itself, right? But when will we update this value? Let's see. We start. We firstly go from zero, and then we go to one, and then we go to two. But from two, we cannot go to one again because we already visited zero before. So, uh, but in that case, as the low value of zero is zero, right? Because it's the same as the discovery time. We can update the low of these two to the low of the zero, which is zero. So we get zero. Uh, and uh, we can um, use the 
um, it's not the same way. We will have other um, method to update the law of one to zero. So in this subtree, all the value will equal to zero, which means the earliest vertex a subtree rooted as v could reach. Mm. So how do we update this one? Actually, we have two par two parts to update a low value. One is if we um, didn't fit, we see. Mm, let's uh, see this algorithm part. Well, for every node, you we we first uh, assign the discovery u and the low u to the time. And for all the neighbor of v, if we didn't visit the v before, we should assign the parent uh, v to the u, right? It's uh, straightforward. And then we'll keep uh, do DFS. So in this case, v can be the root, right? And we keep uh, do the DFS. So we may update the low v in some case. So in this case, we should update the, the low v because we recursively uh, call this DFS. So we may update uh, this low v because currently the root is v. And when we return, we have a new low v value. And we can update the current low u to the minimum low u to the low and the low v. Because that is the earliest uh, vertex you can reach, right? So we can update it. Uh, this part is uh, how do we decide whether an uh, edge is a bridge? I think it can be think uh, intuitively. Like uh, for this example, the discovery time of one is as large as possible, right? It's uh, two. And the law, we always try to give the as small as possible because we always assign the earliest vertex time it can reach, right? So if the law of the three is zero, or it's not zero, it's a three, and the discovery time of one is two. In this case, discovery one is less than the law three. So that means we only have this one part go from one to three. There is no other altern alternative ways to go from one to three. So this should be a bridge. This is the intuitive understanding. We only have this one way to go from u to v. So this is a bridge. OK. So this is OK. But if this v is unvited, we will check whether v is u's parent. Let's see this example. If we first go from 1 to DFS, then we know the parent 2 is 1. The parent, uh, uh, oh sorry, parent, uh, uh, yes, parent 2 is 1. And the parent 3 is 2, right? Because we go, uh, we do this DFS search and we generate this DFS tree. But for the 3, we can also do DFS and we may go to 1. In this case, this 1 is not the parent of 3. So we can update its low. So the low u, which is the low 3, will be the minimum low 3 and the discovery 1. And the discovery 1 is just a B0, right? Because it's the first uh, uh, node to be with. So the time will be 0. So we update this low 3 to 0. So this part intuitive understanding that we check whether there is a back edge in this subtree. Because in this, this case, we have a way from 3 to 1. That means actually this is the back edge. Because this just called the tree edge. This is the back edge. We can visit uh, ascens ascenders, ascensors. This also means there are other ways from U to V, alternative ways, right? OK. So wipe up. This algorithm is just we for this question, we first build graph because the given graph is an age list. 
we should change it to agency list. And in this case, we can use a list array because the number of the vertex is given, is n. So we can new uh, array, a size of n. This is a list array. And then we iterate every vertex in the graph. We check whether we can do a DFS. In a typical DFS, we need a, a visited array to check whether we visited that node before. But in this algorithm, we do not need. We can just uh, take use of this discovery array. We first uh, initialize all the value to negative 1. So if the discovery time is negative 1, that means we haven't visited that node before. But if it's equal to negative 1, or it's does not equal to negative 1, that means we visited it before. So we can take use of this array. OK, then for every u, we, we assign this time to its discovery and the uh, low array. And for its neighbors, v, we check whether we visited before. If we, it's unvited, assign a parent and do the DFS. Update this low u. You should notice that every time we update the low u, because u is the current root in the subtree, so we can only update this root u. So it should be the minimum of the root itself, and uh, all the children's uh, smallest vertex, and its children's small discovery time. You should notice that this is the u. And this part, we can write it here. Because it doesn't matter. It's the low v other than low u. When the low v is greater than the discovery u, we know this is the bridge. OK, so that's it. Seems simple. I think the hard part is you should understand what the discovery array means and what the low array means. Um, it's just a, a variation of a depth search. So let's see the last example. What will the DFS function, um, what's the u and v? If we start from 0, we first uh, will, the u will be 0, v will be 1, right? Then we, the u will be 1 and the v will be 2. But uh, it can be 0, right? Because the, all these three nodes are connected to the 1. So 1 and uh, 0. But as 0 is its parent, so we actually do not do anything. And 1, 2. And for the 2, we can also do DFS and 2, 0, 2, 1. This is the same level. And 1, we can also VT the 3. And for 3, we can VT 1. And for the 0, we can VT 2. This is the you know, the level of the DEFR search. OK, so uh, let's write the code. Hopefully, you can understand it well. We first need a result array. We just call it array list. Oh, sorry. And then we need a graph. We should use an integer array. Sorry, list array. We call it a graph. And new list a size will be n the number of the vertex and then we call a build graph we pass this graph and the, the connections okay let's write uh, this build graph the graph is the least integer graph and the connections is list list integer Connections. So as uh, for every list integer, we call that uh, C. Actually, it's connections. And uh, A is uh, C get uh, 0. It's one node. Another node is C get uh, 1. And if uh, graph A equal to none, we should uh, initialize graph a new array list if 
graph b equal to n graph b new er ay, sorry new array list and then just add it a add b because this is undirected graph b add a okay so that's it then we should uh, write dfs uh, we need a three array right one is called uh, parents the size will be n another is called the discovery n and also a uh, low will called uh, int n we initialize all the arrays to negative one arrays fill pair uh, fill discovery to negative one arrays fill low to negative one and we also need a global variable call it uh, time uh, as is global so we should write here time at first it will be zero and uh, for every vertex we check if discovery i equal to negative one we do dfs so let's see what's the parameter and the final we return result okay the parameters is the current vertex is v and we also need the parents the discovery and the low and the result of course the graph okay so if discovery u not equal to negative one we visited before we just return otherwise we update low u to and and also the discovery u equal to the time but afterwards we should increment by one and then for all its neighbors u graph of v graph u if we haven't visited uh, before that means discovery v equal to negative one we assign the parents parents uh, v will be u and we do the this dfs v parents discovery low result graph we can update the uh, low u to the max minimum low u and the uh, low v and uh, we will check whether it is a bridge only when the low v the neighbor right no v is greater than discovery u that means there is only one way from u to v there is no other alternative ways so this is a bridge Re result will add uh, arrays as the list uh, u v okay else if we visited before we will check whether if parents u if not equal to v the use parents not equal to v then we can update the low u to the mass dot minimum low u to the discovery v minimum the earliest uh, time to beat that node um yes simply is that is i parents discovery time low result graph so yes it seems it's, l it's just like this i will attach a file in the description for you to refer and uh, thank you for watching see you next time